Hey guys, it's Jenny. The Wallet Group, Keller Williams Realty in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's Friday, it's fall, it's football season, and it is failure time. <laughs> oh goodness, the fun that we get to have in this crazy business and life that we live. You know, uh, recently an Outfront magazine came out and I've been tagged in pictures. Thank you guys for your love and your messages and your emails and your Kelly notifications. I love it all. And it's so funny because that story that was told was really four years ago was the, f the first big failure that gets to be documented. <laughs> and I just need to share with you that I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped failing. They've actually probably I've failed bigger um, and more and faster is really the key here. The message that I'd lo love to share with you guys is that um, the my failures don't seem as big because I am swift in my movement through them. Um, through the conversations I'm having, they're maybe more forward and more um, having them sooner and faster. You know, with building a team, it's always ups and downs and ins and outs and people and emotions and production and, you know, all the things that go into it. And uh, conversations, just that's the number one thing that I've found, it's just communication. And when you're setting up the relationships correctly from the start, the conversations are easier. I remember in the young, in my younger days of learning leadership that I just skate around and hide from important conversations that needed to be had and no one wins with that. While I am protecting my own ego or emotions, it's really just hurting everyone involved. I remember one time, and this was years ago, I had a team member that wasn't a great fit for the team, not in it, not um, the energy that we needed, or um, yeah, really just bad energy. <laughs> That's hard with us. And um, I knew that I needed to let her go, and it was just too hard for me. I just, eh, wah, I didn't want to do it. It was just something I, I wanted to avoid. And I remember my coach saying to me, by you keeping this person on the team, how are you showing up as a leader to the team members that are doing the right things, that are in it to win and all in and committed to the goal, to the culture, to the vision? And wow, that was all it took, just shifting my mindset from it's not about me, it's about being a leader and showing up as a leader for the team and being the best for them, the ones that I do care about, the ones that are all in. And I'll tell you what, immediately the appointment was set the next day to have a conversation with that person. And whenever you're face to face with a, a team member and you feel that not working out and something not connecting, you really don't have to say much other than like, hey, what's up? What can we do here? This doesn't seem to be a good fit anymore. What's going on? Because they feel it too. If you feel it, they feel it. They probably don't want to be there anyway and they're just waiting for you to set them free. And um, that's at least what I found. And if it's not the case, the team is all better anyway because you've removed that piece that wasn't a great fit and that's what it's about. There is my ramble on Fail Forward Friday. I hope you have an amazingly super awesome day and enjoy it. Let me know if you need anything at all. My number is 918-706-9845. Bye.